Hey, how's it going everybody? This is GC Performance here back with another video. Uh, today I have for you guys the Specialized LA Sprint. Uh, I've been actually getting asked about this bike a lot in terms of, you know, functionality. They want to see what it looks like and, and just kind of the features of it and why it's priced the way it's priced. This is uh, obviously a custom build of one. So this was a frame that someone bought and then they built it up. This is actually one of my buddies. So um, I'll just kind of go over all the specs on this bike. But I'll also go in the video, I'll show you guys the main features of what makes this LA Sprint the price it is and why this is different from the normal LA and the benefits of this bike and you know the pros and cons of having this bike. So the LA Sprint, they offer in a complete build of a bike, which is like 2,200 bucks, or they offer it for just a frame set if you wanna buy it. And the reason why I do that is that this bike is a, not a budget race bike, but like a bike, let's say you were doing crit races or you want a bike that's, you know, not so expensive. So that way, if you know that you're in these fast crit one races, crit two, crit three uh, races, that you're not going to crash and, and destroy your whole bike. So this is a bike that you can build up with really nice components and performance well. Um, it's very stiff as well, but you don't want to worry about or risk it, you know, damaging the bike in a crash and then your season's over for the race. Um, and as you can see, it's a little bit different style of a frame geometry and the tubes are shaped as differently as well to make it different from the normal lay frame. So on the lay sprint, the reason why it's called a sprint is that it is a, uh, a very fast design bike. So they have what's called on here the smart weld. And so if you look around the head tube angles, sorry, on the head tube right here, you can kind of see the extra welding marks right here. You can see the reinforced welding marks here on the seat stays as well. And then if you go down to this side over here on the bottom bracket area, you can see there's three separate welding marks right here, reinforced, boom, boom. And also right here, I don't know if it's gonna show up, but that is a reinforced welding as well. And what that reinforced welding does is that not only does it make it um, uh, more compliant in those areas, but also reinforces the areas when you're putting on power and the, these areas that are usually more flexed uh, areas as well, it's going to make it stiffer. So you're putting on power, it's going to be a really quick bike. It's going to respond very fast and efficiently so that you're gonna get a very fast and stiff bike. Um, and then they also took the uh, design frame of the Venge. You can kind of see this has a an aero seat post. This is a full carbon fiber seat post. The down tube of it's very aero, very sleek. And then the uh, the down tube right here as well is very sleek as well. More of a, not like a traditional round down tube, but uh, a little bit more, I would say semi like a D-shape kind of. Um, the fork on here is full carbon fiber. It's actually a tarmac disc or a tarmac uh, fork on here as well. This is not a disc bike, but a tarmac fork. So carbon fiber fork to a carbon fiber steer. And that's going to help with the chatter and also the compliancy of the bike. So because it is aluminum, when you are riding this bike for longer miles, that way you don't get hit with a lot of the bumps and uh, of the road and it's not going to cause you know, your neck, your elbows, your wrists, you know, it, it won't make you go numb as quickly. Um, but let's just get into this bike right here and kind of show you what this customer did on this bike. So this is a lay frame that he built. He put a full Durace group on it, except for these specialized carbon fiber BB30 cranks. Um, on here, he has a 5236 chainring by Praxis with the carbon fiber S-Works crank arm and uh, carbon fiber spider as well. You can see back here, he has a mechanical Durace on here uh, and then an Ultegra 1123 cassette because we're in south florida we don't need that other gear so that's just the way he likes to ride he's a huge fan of zip so these are zip 303 firecrest carbon clinchers um and this model this is a 56 bike this thing weighed in at 16 pounds 12 ounces so very nice for uh weight for for an aluminum frame bike he did also put in ceramic kogel pulley wheels so those are ceramic pulley wheels similar to the ceramic speed i did but these are just normal size pulley wheels that replace your um your stock pulley wheel so it's have ceramic bearings there and i'll give you guys a little sound test for the free body so that's for the zip that's that classic zip uh kind of that loud free body noise on this lay sprint as well it is a carbon fiber seat post like i said but it's going to come stock with a 20 degree setback seat post on here this customer opted out he bought this separately this is a zero degree seat post you can kind of see it's a little bit more forward he slammed his stem and I think it's a 110 on there that he has on there. It's an S-Works. Uh, this is a S-Works, specialized S-Works stem. It's alloy. The bar is a carbon fiber specialized bar. These are 44 centimeters wide. Um, but yeah, uh, back here, he's riding a S-Works power arc saddle. So carbon fiber rails, 
carbon fiber seat shell. And then he bought this little stick mount right here for the specialized lights that literally mounts onto the bottom of the seat right here. And he is choosing to ride these specialized cotton tires. Those are very race day tires. The gum wall looks clean. The bike looks super clean with them, but be prepared to uh, deal with a dirty bike because uh, those tires do get dirty real fast. They are very light. There's very minimal rolling resistance on them. They are a little bit more prone to getting flats, but especially for a race day tire, some of the best on there. Um, he's running Durace brake calipers. I know this is the world of the brake, the disc brake now, but he's still running his mechanical brake calipers on here just because he likes this look of the frame. And you can kind of see this has this all white, the specialized logo is chrome, which looks amazing. The front fork is chrome, which looks badass. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's going to be the video on the LA Sprint. The rear as well, I forgot to tell you, they did shorten the chain stays on here as well to make it more snappier and stiffer. The longer the chain stay, the more flex there could be in between there as well. So when you're putting down power again, you don't want that frame moving laterally back and forth flexing. You want to be stiff. So when you put down power and you go, it's going to transfer right away and there is no uh, lack of power. But yeah, that's going to do it for my video on the lace sprint. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have any questions compared to this model. I know this is not a a base model i will get the 2021s hopefully whenever they come out the base model to kind of show you guys just a stock bike but i just kind of want to go over what makes this bike so so affordable and such a great everyday bike i mean literally this is a bike that you can buy if you don't want to spend the money on it and you can ride in the group rides you can compete with it you can do crit races it's not going to hold you back yes it'll be a little bit more of a rough ride because it is a aluminum frame but the pros and cons of it being so much less money than a carbon fiber like i think this whole build cost this guy maybe four thousand dollars whereas a bike like this with zip wheels durace and everything like that and an s-works frame would be like eight thousand five hundred ten thousand dollars somewhere on there so that's that's where that's going to save you at and that you can actually take this bike beat it up ride it it's going to perform well it's still very compliant being a an aluminum bike because you have that carbon fork but it does a great job of just distributing power really well um yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you guys have any questions on the lace sprint model compared to the other models. Uh, and if you guys are new to the channel, please leave a thumbs up, a like, comment, all that stuff like that. That'll really help me out. If you are looking for more bike content as well, uh, subscribe because I got a lot coming out. I got differences between the Epic and the Epic Evo, differences between the Tarmac SL7 and Venge. People have been asking for that. I still have the Pinarello video coming out. I still have the zip 454 is coming up as well so we got a lot in store for you guys on this channel so give me uh give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye um yeah sorry about that i was just thinking about the other things too uh, i will also have the scott cr1 or scott i think attic 30 like the base model budget bike coming up too as well for two thousand dollars so that's going to be out uh either later today or tomorrow as well so gonna try and bang out these videos as quick as i can and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much bye